Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today will be a little bit different. I want to show you the kinds of gel pens that I use. I believe that pens are very important and essential while taking notes because they make the process much much more fun. And let's get started. Okay guys, so I'll start with number 7 which is the Violet Juice and I have only the 0.38 tip. It's very sharp and that makes it very hard to use especially for taking notes. So if you want to use these pens for taking for taking notes, I would recommend the 0.5. Number 6, six on my list is the Baby Gel 0.7. Uh, it's really, really good because the price is really good, it dries really fast, and it's very smooth. The only problem is that sometimes it can be very liquidy. Number 5 on my list are the Violet G2 pens. These pens are very common, you can find them almost everywhere, and the price is really good. My only problem is that sometimes, especially when you start writing at, at the end of the line, you will find like a darker spot of the ink and I think they're because it's a little bit too liquidy and this is the only problem with them. Other than that, they're perfect. You can find, find them in 0 0.7, 0 0.5 and I believe 0 0.38 as well. So they're really good options, especially if you just started using gel pens. Okay guys, next on my list are the Paper May Enjoy pens. They come in a variety of colors and they're very, very smooth. They come in 0 0.7 tip and 0 0.5. I personally prefer the 0 0.5 because the 0 0.7 can be a little bit too smooth and I can't control my handwriting with it. So if you want to write more neatly, I, I would recommend the 0 0.5. All the colors are really dark, so that's why they're re really, really good for taking notes. The only problem is that they can be pricey sometimes. Guys, next on my list are the Uniball Signo, the 207. I think this is 0 0.7 tip. They're really, really good. They're perfect for note taking. Uh, they're just like the Enjoy pens and I prefer these ones because they're a little bit less liquidy. The only problem with these, they can they can take a long time to dry so it's hard to use a highlighter. So if you like to use highlighter, you should use it first then write on top of it. Okay guys, so next on my list are the Ventil Inner Gel pens. They come in a variety of colors, they come in 0.7 and 0.5 and they come in a needle tip or a regular tip. So they're really good for that and they're really really good for taking notes uh, you can find them almost everywhere the price is always good you can even find them at walmart and they dry really really fast so number one on my list are the violet high tech c and the muji pens uh, the mujis like the simple ones the stick pens are really really good this is 0.38 tip and i prefer the black one using the Muji and I prefer the blue one on the high tech seat because it's a little bit smoother. From my experience, they're really really good for taking notes, they're, the fine tip is really good for annotating and writing in small places and you can highlight on top of these and they won't smudge as much, especially the high tech C. The Muji smudge sometimes so I would, I would recommend using the highlighter first then writing on top of the highlighter. So these pens are really really great for taking notes and I highly recommend using them. Okay guys, so when it comes to actual note taking, I recommend using two colors, black and another color or blue and another color with a highlighter. And for each lecture, I would recommend you using the, the colored pen for definitions and black or blue pen just for everything else and a highlighter as well the end of my video i hope you guys enjoyed it please like and subscribe and let me know in the comment section if you have any ideas for the next video and, <laughs> and i'll see you guys next time